Wow. <laughs> this is delicious. I don't even know how to explain it, it's so good. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In the spirit of Christmas, I will be preparing one of my husband's favorite desserts. Brought apple, which means baked apple. It is normally baked and it's stuffed with Nutella, marzipan, almonds, raisins, or all of those ingredients combined. I will be preparing this dish today. However, I will put an American twist on this dish. So if you would like to see how this dish is prepared, stay by, let's cook. Shout out to my sister. When her and her family went to Barcelona, she got me this apron. Thank you, sis, I really appreciate it, I love it. Let's remove the top half of the apple. Then you're gonna take a spoon and remove the center of the apple. Okay. Voila, cut that into small pieces. We're gonna stuff this. This will be a part of our stuffing in the apple. We don't want anything to go to waste. So I have lemon juice, cinnamon, and as always, the recipe is in the description box below. Raisins, my favorite, toasted almonds, and honey. Then, about a tablespoon of butter. We'll stuff the apples. Make sure you press it down in there. For an American twist, I will add a topping to it. So if you can, if you want to do it the German way, um, I will fill it up a little bit more and bake it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees. However, if you want to do it with an American twist, um, don't fill it up. Leave about a quarter of an inch from the top. Sugar, oats. Flour and a dash of salt. And the apple lids, it's soaking in lemon water so it won't turn brown. Okay, so we're going to take our ice cold butter and we will add it to the mixture. So you want to take your fingers, that's the best way to do it, and you want to um, smush the flour and the butter with your fingers. Perfect, so this is what you want. This is the consistency that you want. Now you see why the butter has to be cold? Because if it was room temperature, you would not have any shape right now. Next step, place these in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. A fresh caramel sauce. Already have the sugar in the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and add water. The caramel sauce should take about 15 to 20 minutes. The color is starting to change. See, it's darker on the right side and slowly moving over to the left side, so we're almost there. Take it off the stove and add your heavy cream, but watch out, it might pop. And then get your whisk. Add butter. Add bourbon to mine. You could add vanilla extract, whatever you would like, and then give it a good stir. Time to taste. Oh wow, that is delicious. It smells really nice. Now it's time for plate up. So first thing we want to do is put the caramel sauce right in the center of the plate. Place it right in the middle. Beautiful. Set the lid of the apple on the side. Just drizzle a little bit of the sauce on top. All right guys, I've never had this dish before so we will be trying it together. I think we did a good job. Can you all see it? I think we did great. Wow. 
<laughs> this is delicious. It is really good. I gotta take another bite, y'all. Oh my goodness. You can also have this dish with um, a vanilla cream sauce, of course, with vanilla ice cream. This is my new favorite dish. It is so good. I know my husband will love it. I cannot wait for him to try it. So if you all try this recipe, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, please let me know. And what should I prepare next? All right, guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching. See you all soon. Bye.